Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen. I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and today is Saturday so it is another grocery haul day. I have a great grocery haul, lots of new finds or new to me finds. Pretty good size haul today from both Walmart and Trader Joe's. So if you're excited for another grocery haul, give this video a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel, kind of lets YouTube know that you like to see these types of videos. And of course, if you're new to my channel or you're not yet subscribed, please make sure that you do hit the subscribe button. I am this close to my 30,000 subscriber goal by the end of the year. So it'd mean the world to me if you could make sure that you're subscribed. Thank you so, so much in advance. Also make sure you're checking out that description box down below where you're going to find my nutrition coaching website. I do offer personalized macro and calorie calculation specific to you. It's really important to know where you should fall every day, calories, macros, so that you can be as successful as possible on your healthy lifestyle journey. You're also going to find 30 and 60 minute coaching sessions on my website. So take advantage of that. Let me help you reach your goals, especially moving into the new year. You're also going to find links and discount codes to all of my very favorite things. And of course my Facebook group. So head on over and join us there. I have tons and tons of fun stuff coming your way, really exciting stuff in the new year. So definitely take a moment and check out that description box. So we have a haul to do, we have a big haul. We're gonna go over my meal plan and my meal prep, so let's jump in. So here's this week's grocery haul. I shopped at both Walmart and Trader Joe's. I have some fun new or new to me at least food finds that I'm really excited to share with you guys. Plus a few fun things for Christmas and a really fun Vlogmas video coming your way a little bit later this month. So let's jump into this week's grocery haul. Before we do, this is currently happening. She is the weirdest dog. Back to the grocery haul. First, I picked up some pineapple bubbly. This was on sale at Walmart, and then there was actually another dollar off, so it was just over $2 for an eight pack, which is a really good deal. And then, of course, a restock of Diet Coke for Troy. I did buy the Stonefire Non Crisps again. These are so good. I feel like every time I go to Walmart, I have to pick these up. We're still working on that La Terrafina dip from Costco and these are really good in there. These are the garlic and cheese and you get a lot of these crackers for the points, much more than if you bought the Trader Joe's version of the non crisps. So I do prefer the Stone Fire. These are for Troy, two little Knutson cottage cheese doubles. These have the blueberry and the cottage cheese. I don't know how bad they are in points. They're only 110 calories, but I thought that this would be a good healthy snack for him. And then new to me are these mini croissants from Thomas. These plain mini croissants are so cute. Look at the size of those. And you can have three of them for 180 calories. So I figured the points wouldn't be too bad, but of course they'll be here on the screen. I thought this would be nice paired with some eggs, maybe some sausage for breakfast. And then I also picked up the King's Hawaiian Rolls. This is for meal prep. You are not going to want to miss this week's meal prep because First of all, we're using King's Hawaiian Rolls, and I just have some good stuff coming your way for meal prep, so I picked those up. There was a lot of great deals on meat, so I went ahead and stocked up. One pound of 96% extra lean ground beef, and then there was a couple of good deals on chicken. These are just boneless, skinless chicken breast, and then chicken tenders, and they were all on sale, so I'm just going to toss them in my freezer. They'll keep really well in there. You can't pass it up when they're marked down. Of course, I picked up another pack of the Sam's Choice Chicken Apple Sausage. Whenever they're in stock, I get them. These freeze really, really well. So if you can score these in your area, go ahead and pop them in the freezer. They freeze great. And then I needed some diced ham for a meal prep recipe. Of course, I grabbed my organic happy eggs. These are my favorite eggs ever. And they are such a great deal at Walmart. We needed some sliced cheese. So this is the Great Value Mild Cheddar Cheese. And then also a restock of the Light Shredded Cheese from Trader Joe's. For a vlog miss video, I'm going to be filming how I make and decorate my famous sugar cookies. They are the cookies my entire family asks for every single year. They are absolutely incredible. I will be filming the entire thing and sharing the recipe, and I'll be filming that this next week. So I bought everything I need. Number one, starting with some fun new sprinkles. These are little crushed up candy canes, and I'm also going to use these in a second Christmas recipe coming your way during Vlogmas. So these are really cute, makes it easy. They're already crushed 
crushed up. And then in the clearance section of Walmart, I saw this Starbucks peppermint mocha coffee. I have heard that this is incredible. And you guys know that I love peppermint anything. So I grabbed it just to have it on hand to try it. It was $4.75. I don't know if these are new to Trader Joe's or if I've just never seen them, but I love beets, especially in my salad. So this is just cut beets in vinaigrette. I had to grab it because I'm planning on having some salads for lunch this next week. And then I did pick up a very small squeezable light mayonnaise for Troy's lunches. We are almost out of the Primal Kitchen mayo and I don't go to Costco for another week or two for my big stock up. So this will get us through. And then for the cookies I needed, or I think I need food coloring. I wasn't hundred percent sure, but I didn't want to start the recipe and not have any food coloring. And then I need almond extract actually for a couple of different recipes. Like I said, I have some really fun Christmas baking recipes coming your way. A big bag of the Applegate chicken and maple breakfast sausage. I've been liking having eggs and sausage for breakfast and I've been having the chicken apple, but I really wanted breakfast sausage. This whole bag was $9.99, which is a great deal for Applegate Farms. And I think I will have that with eggs and dun -dun -dun, mini croissants. So I picked that up in the freezer section. If you ha have it in your Walmart, it's actually a killer deal because the small boxes are about $4. And this is a 1.25 pound bag for $9.99. And then in the back here, I wanted to show this to you guys because I was actually pretty excited when I saw this at Walmart. So I have a real estate client closing on a house. She's a younger girl. She's a single mom. It's her first house here in the next couple of weeks. And her daughter loves Barbies. So I want to show you this line of Barbies. And I don't know if this is new, but I'm loving it. These are the Barbie fashionistas. And I don't know if you can tell but she's not a skinny mini Barbie. Like back in the day when I was a kid, she is a normal sized woman Barbie and I love that. And then on the back, it's very awesome because it is a very diverse collection of Barbies. You can see there's even some in a wheelchair, which is awesome. There's African American Barbies, Asian Barbies, just all different cultures, men and women. And I absolutely positively love it. I think it's great. We are being inclusive with Barbie instead of just the skinny mini version that I had as a kid. So I picked this up for her, $5 at Walmart, great deal. For my salads, I wanted some banana pepper rings. I haven't had these in a while and whenever I go to Subway, I always get these on my sandwich. So I decided this would be great for sandwiches, salads. And then for a recipe, I needed poppy seeds. Actually, I think for a couple of recipes and this was only $2.50 at Walmart. And then I was going to get the Campbell's Healthy Request Cream of Mushroom Soup. They literally had all of their soups picked over, so I don't know what that's all about, but all I could find is this fat-free, great value version. Not a big fan of fat-free food, but it was the only thing I could find, so I grabbed it. And then also in the clearance section with the coffee is this can of corn just for 86 cents. There's nothing wrong with it. It's not even dented, so I grabbed that. Big, huge, ginormous pack of paper plates, $9.99 for 300 plates. Great deal. And then lastly, in the clearance section, I saw this Menage a Trois Limelight Pinot Grigio, three little bottles of wine for $3. So I grabbed this for Christmas. I thought that it would just be great to have chilled as an option on Christmas Eve or Christmas Day. And then Troy loves the I Can't Believe It's Not Butter. So the big tub at Walmart is the best deal. The small tub is about $4. This big tub is $6. So I grabbed that for him. And then bread for his sandwiches next week. He actually goes back to work after his medical procedure and he is having tuna fish sandwiches. So some sourdough bread. I also did a restock on queso for him, for me, and also for Christmas to go with those fun Trader Joe's shaped chips that I bought. And then I was all out of cheese for salads. And like I mentioned, I wanted salads this next week. So I went ahead and picked up some feta. And then of course, I just grabbed another container of the mini peppermint meringues before they are gone at Trader Joe's. I love these. And I finally found the Lily's peppermint baking chips. So of course I had to pick one of those up. I found these at Walmart, not in the baking aisle, but instead these were in the center with all of the holiday baking things. Someone's at our house. So everyone in this house is freaking out. So anyways, these were in the center aisle. And then for my cookies, one of my little secrets 
believe it or not, is I use the Betty Crocker Rich and Creamy Frosting. I use the cream cheese and the vanilla. So I picked up one vanilla and two cream cheese. I mix those together and that is the frosting I use for my cookies. And everyone thinks I make it homemade. They love it, they rave about it. It's a great shortcut. Like me, I'm not very good at making frosting. So if you're like me, this is a great substitution and it is incredible on the sugar cookies. I also restocked my almond milk. I was completely out and I love this almond milk. It's really good and it's only one point for an entire cup and 30 calories. Of course, kombucha, they had the big bottle of ginger aid at Walmart for $7. This is the equivalent of three bottles. Each bottle is about $3. So you actually save a couple dollars by buying the big bottle. And of course, before it's gone at Trader Joe's, a couple more bottles of my favorite fall edition with the apple, turmeric, carrot, and spices. These are $3 a piece at Trader Joe's. Flour for my cookies. Unfortunately, they didn't have any organic flour. This was the best version that I could find, so I picked that up. And then it's been a minute since I've had poppables. I've been loving pitos, as you guys know. I still love pitos. I'm just waiting for my order to come in. I do have a link down below for 20% off pitos try them you guys they're amazing but I picked up poppables because I've been wanting chips and these are sea salt and vinegar I actually don't think I've ever tried this flavor so I'm pretty excited let me know down in the comments if you've had the sea salt and vinegar and if you liked it yogurt pretzels for Troy's lunch he loves these and I have not bought these in a while so I'm going to bag these up and they will be part of his lunch this next week and then potatoes so Trader Joe's has a new small business brand of organic potatoes so I picked those up I need potatoes for several recipes this next week. Everything else I have is produce. So a couple of oranges. This is for a breakfast recipe for meal prep. I'm seriously so excited for my meal prep. So stay tuned at the end of this video for my meal plan and my meal prep. Some broccoli for a recipe. Some more organic raspberries because these were actually really good this last week. Cranberries for my meal prep. So you can get an idea we'll be doing something cranberry. Carrots because I was completely out and I need these for two dinner recipes. And then a restock of my favorite organic sweet onions, again, for several recipes this next week. So that's it, my friends. That is this week's grocery haul. So let's jump into meal plan and meal prep. So here's this week's meal plan. This is the week of 12, 12 through 12, 18. By the end of this week, we are literally six days from Christmas. That completely blows my mind. But this week I have some great meals planned. Of course, today, Saturday is an out to dinner, support a local business, frozen pizza, whatever we decide to do. Tomorrow I'll be making a slow cooker scalloped ham and potatoes, kind of that winter comfort food. You will see this recipe in next week's What I Eat In A Day, so stay tuned for that. Monday is a chicken and rice casserole, one of my very favorite recipes. Tuesday is always a leftover night because it's a jazzercise night. Wednesday I'm doing spaghetti and meatballs. Good old fashioned spaghetti and meatballs. Thursday is cheeseburger soup. I've really been wanting soup with the cold weather. So I try to incorporate a healthy, low point, low calorie soup recipe every week. And this week is cheeseburger soup. And then Friday we'll do leftovers only because we'll generally have quite a bit left over from the meals earlier in the week. And for meal prep this week, which I am so excited about, breakfast is a cranberry orange loaf. So this is kind of a sweet breakfast. I'm going to pair this Though with something savory, maybe some sausage or some eggs, as well as some additional fruit. But I can't wait for this recipe. It screams the holidays. Lunch is ham and cheese sliders using those Hawaiian rolls. This is just kind of a decadent, what I think about when I think of unhealthy, but I'm making it healthy. So I'm excited for that. And then for dessert, I'm actually making a berry almond shortbread cookie, which I'm excited for this too, just to have these little small sweet treats on hand for the next week. So that is meal prep. So stay tuned on Monday for all of these recipes. Thank you for joining me on another weekly WW Grocery Haul. I hope that I gave you some good food inspiration, found some new things that you can pick up the next time that you do your grocery shopping. Definitely stay tuned for meal prep on Monday. It's going to be a fantastic one. I may be showing some of these recipes in videos upcoming as well, so definitely stay tuned. And with that, make sure that you are subscribed. Again, help me reach my goal by the end of the year and turn your bell on so you are notified whenever I upload 
old grocery hauls or recipe videos. So definitely make sure that you're subscribed. If you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up. It means a lot to me and really, really helps out my channel. And don't forget about that description box with my nutrition coaching, my Facebook group, and links and discounts to my favorite things. Thank you guys again so much for watching. Happy Saturday, happy Vlogmas, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Bye. See you